Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the shares of company. What are the different types of shares? Equity shares and preference shares. And what are the differences between these two types of shares? So in examination, very frequently you will get a question regarding what are the differences between preference shares and equity shares. So watch the video till the end. And uh, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain all the points in detail. Now, first of all, we'll learn about the meaning of the term share. The capital of a company is divided into a number of small parts of equal denomination each such part of the capital is called share so simply the total capital of a company is divided into equal number of parts of equal denomination so here total capital of the company is divided into units of small denomination each unit into which capital is divided is called a share very easy definition meaning example also I have given suppose the total capital of the company is rupees 50 lakh and we have divided the 50 lakh rupees capital into 5 lakh parts or units each unit is of 10 rupees so 5 lakh into 10 you will get 50 lakh rupees that is the total capital so 5 lakh parts or units, each part 10 rupees, that 10 rupees is called share. The value of each share is 10 rupees. Then according to Companies Act, a company can issue two classes of shares at present. According to Companies Act 2013, only two types of shares can be issued, equity shares and preference shares. So first of all, we learn about what are preference shares. So preference shares is that part of share capital of the company which carries two preferential rights. Any share which carry two preferential rights are called preferential. So what are the two rights? Payment of dividend at a fixed rate. First of all, the payment of dividend on preference shares are at a fixed rate. The rate will not change. When the company issue preference shares, it will specify that this preference share will carry a fixed rate of so and so percentage. Then return of capital and the binding of the company. When the company is wound up, liquidated, first of all, the preference share capital should be returned. After that, only equity capital will be returned. So preferential right, they will get the capital back at the time of wind up. So these two rights are there for preferential holders. Now types of preferentials. Preferentials are again are classified into different types. First of all, cumulative and non-cumulative preferentials. Cumulative means suppose in a particular year there is no profit or very low profit. The company will not be in a position to pay dividend, preference dividend. So that dividend which is not paid will be accumulated. And if the preference shares are cumulative preference shares, then previous year's dividend will also be received during the current year. For example, last two years, 2020, 2021. For these two years, the company has not paid the preference dividend because of lack of capital, lack of profit. In that case, current year, 2022, the company will pay the arrears of dividend of last two years also. If the preference shares are cumulative, if the preferentials are non-cumulative, the arrears of dividend will not be paid. That means in a particular year, if there is no profit, no dividend is paid. The lack, right of dividend will get lapsed. The dividend will not be accumulated if it is a non-cumulative preferentials. So at the time of issue itself, the company will specify that these shares are cumulative or non-cumulative. Next comes participating and non-participating preferentials. If the preference shareholders are having a right to get the surplus profit after paying a specified rate of dividend to equity shareholders. First of all, the company pay the specified rate to preference shareholders dividend. Then after that, the company will pay dividend to equity shareholders. Sometimes a company will specify that dividend to equity shareholders will be paid up to 30%. If the company pays over 30%, the excess profit the preference shareholders will also have the right in surplus profit. So those 
shares on which the preference shareholders are the having the right on excess profit after paying a specified dividend on equity shares that is called participating preference shares so specifically a participating preference share is a share which carries the right of sharing profits left after paying equity and preference dividend at specified rates so after paying equity dividend preference dividend if any surplus profit is left actually that profit belongs to equity shareholders but sometimes the company will specify the preference shareholder will also have the right on that surplus profit then it is called participating if the preference shareholder does not have any right over surplus profit then it is called non participating preference shares now convertible and non convertible preference shares the company will specify that these shares are convertible into equity shares the preference shares are convertible into equity shares then it is called as convertible preference shares if the company does not give the right then it will become non convertible that means always it will remain preference it will never be converted into equity so in this way convertible and non convertible preference shares next one is redeemable redeemable means taking back the company will specify at the time of issue of preference shares that these shares will be redeemed after 10 years after 15 years that means the specified period period of time is given once the period is over the preference shareholders have to return back the shares to the company the company will make the redemption the company will pay back the amount so those shares which are returned to the company after a specified period of time are called redeemable but according to present companies act 2013 no company can issue irredeemable preference shares every share should be redeemable only and no shares can be issued no preference shares can be issued which are redeemable after 20 years that means a company cannot issue preference shares which are redeemable after 20 years the period should be below 20 years the present law the company's act says so when the company does not uh, take back the shares it is called irredeemable if the company takes back the shares specified in the issue it will be called redeemable preference shares now equity shares we have learned about preference shares that preference shareholders are having two rights they will get the dividend first at a fixed rate and they will get back the capital before any capital is returned to equity shareholders those rights if those rights are not given the other shares are called equity shares simply i will say equity shares are those shares which are not preference shares which are not preference they don't have any right to get first dividend and they don't have any right to get the return of capital back at the time of winding up so rate of dividend may vary the rate of dividend is not fixed on equity it depends on the profitability and also depends on the decision of the board of directors then equity shareholders will get dividend in repayment of capital after meeting the claim of equity shareholders when the company paid dividend to preference shareholders then only if profit is available dividend can be paid to equity at the time of winding up the company has to pay first the return of capital to preference shareholders if after paying that if any assets are left then it will be paid to equity shareholders that's it now last topic in this video is regarding what are the differences between preference shares and equity shares very frequently they will be asked in examination so first of all preference dividend is paid before any dividend is paid to equity first difference the company must pay dividend first to preference shareholders after paying dividend to preference shareholders then only dividend will be paid to equity shareholders then secondly at the time of liquidation liquidation means wind up of the company closure of the company at the time of liquidation first of all the capital of preference shareholders should be paid repaid first after paying the preference share capital if any amount is left then the return to equity capital then third one the rate of dividend on preference shares is fixed it will not change whereas the rate on equity shareholders will change will vary if there is more profit more dividend if there is less profit less dividend no profit no dividend for equity shareholders in case of cumulative preference shares that means the arrears of dividend will get accumulated if a preference shareholders has not got the profit for the last two years current year it will get arrears of dividend also 
But in case of equity shares, there is no question of arrears of dividend. A year, uh, if in a particular year dividend is not paid, that dividend will be lapsed. The dividend will not get accumulated. Next one, preference share can be converted into equity shares. Preference shares may be convertible into equity, but equity share will never be converted into preference. Preference shareholders do not have a voting right until and unless their rights are affected. So normally, preference shareholders does not have any voting right, whereas equity shareholders will have the voting right. Last one, redeemable preference shares. The preference shares may be redeemable or irredeemable. Redeemable means after a specified period of time, the company will take back the preference shares. The company will have the right to take back the shares after the specific period. Redeemable. But in case of equity shares, always irredeemable. The company will not take back the shares. So these are few differences between equity shares and preference shares. So if you want the complete knowledge, go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject advanced accounting, all the videos in detail regarding the problems, everything is given. So inshallah, we'll take up the next topic in the next video.